this lines. We could get this straight. We're getting this straight right now. So essentially, you move from a volunteer. Mm-hmm. You met Mr. Stepper or Stepper. Yeah. Then you became well, you moved from a stranger, you met Mr. Stepper, you became a volunteer for five years. Mm-hmm. Then you started working with them a little bit more and no, tell them who you are now. I don't want to tell them. You know, I want you <laughs> well, uh, no, I'm actually uh, one of the program coordinator right now for the student governance program within the, the Ministry of Education. So, yeah, so from there to there, no. Um, but I still serve in the capacity as an empowerment officer. Yeah. Um, and I wear multiple hats. Uh, and I work with a very dynamic team of, of individuals who are dedicated to the constant growth and progression of our young people in, across this nation. So big up to all the YEOs. Big up the YEOs. Big up NSSC. For those who don't know, I served on the NSSC under Miss Lawrence. And trust me, if you don't know about NSSC, you need to check out their page. If you don't know about Empower Tell them, tell them, tell them about um, empower, um, your empowerment endeavors. Tell them about your business in empowerment. Tell them about right. that, yeah. Okay, so this is something that uh, should have been, well, I believe that God had birthed from about 2016. God has been talking to me about it for a while. Um, that even though I would have been doing this professionally, that this is something I probably need to segue and to do so I can help persons. And most, all of what I do really is free of cost. Um, I, I don't charge persons for the service that I render. Um, there are elements outside of that, that, you know, there might be a cost attached, but when it comes to empowerment sessions, those are free of cost um, to yeah. persons. And this is outside of the scope that, of work that I do. Um, So I am an empowerment specialist. I help persons really to evaluate their lives and to uh, employ life strategies that can propel them into fulfilling their destiny and their purpose. Because that's one of the reasons I've realized that why I'm here. I'm here to help persons to see uh, and to maximize and to manifest the vision that God has created them for, right? Because many times persons are are merely existing. They're not living. They're not living a purpose-driven life. They're just existing. And so where I come in now is to help you to hone and to develop that vision and to understand the vision uh, that is on your life and to manifest, you know, that level of vision as well. So I, I am pretty proud of what I do on a daily basis. I'm pretty proud of the lives that God has allowed me to to touch, you know, and and to even segue from that to writing a book where I share my stories, where I share my defeats, my triumphs, you know, Um, so persons can be inspired because I always love this analogy by Pastor Funky Adjujoma. Uh, she always says, I don't want to die as a woman. I want to die as an institution where when I, even when I've gone on, persons have to study to understand why, how I did what I did, right? Yeah. I believe in legacy building. I believe in leaving a legacy for others to see and to be inspired by. Because if you just merely exist at the end of the day, when you die, that's it. But when you leave a legacy, persons who are after you can look and understand and say, okay, so these are some of the strategies she used. Possibly I could use this too. Maybe I could do this too. And the fact that she achieved this, maybe I could achieve this too. So it's to leave a legacy. Um, and, and I think that's the last question I asked in my book. What do you, how do you plan to help the next generation? Because we're not here just to live for ourselves. This interview, after I would have done it, is going to transcend long years, you know, after me. And so I want persons, when they look on, they can say, listen, if she can do it, I can do it too. Just like when we look at the story of persons in the Bible who would have, who would have triumphed, a David, a Joseph, a Esther, we look at these persons, they have left their legacy to show us that it is indeed possible. Yeah. Truly inspiring, truly, truly inspiring. Miss Lawrence, before we wrap up, 
can you tell us about your a, a little bit about your book how we can get your book the t-shirts all of that tell us about that tell us about your brand tell us about please 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 so my brand is poor her moves and yeah. it's really power moves with an h so it's p o w h e r m o v e s poor her moves it's a female um based kind of empowerment um it does cater to men as well so it's not limited the name might be gender biased um yeah. but nevertheless i have two elements i have the power moves which caters to the female empowerment and i have power moves which caters to everybody right mm -hmm. and so my book power moves which doesn't have the h uh, was released last year march um on amazon kindle you can actually actually ordered now your physical copy on Amazon um, and have really? the, yes you can and you Crazy. can do anywhere that you are in the world um, the, the 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 shipment is actually uh, on its on route now to Jamaica and so shortly those books will be available for sale uh, it's only 2500 Jamaican dollars so persons who are interested in getting the books can do so um, and so if you want a quick read, if you can't bother for wait so long for the book, you can download it on Amazon Kindle. And if you have the Kindle app, you can read it right away once you downloaded it. And so the book really uh, speaks to the metamorphosis of a game changer. That's a subtitle. So it's power move metamorphosis of a game changer. And of course, we know metamorphosis really is that transformational process of, you know, the butterfly. Uh, yeah. the Led to that of a butterfly and i use the analogy or the stages of of the metamorphosis uh to speak to our lives as individuals how it is that you know our environment can shape how we think or we should never limit ourselves to our environment that there is something greater and deeper on the inside of us that we need to manifest and we need to hone and we need to get it done uh joshua there are there is a purpose on your life that needs to be manifested and so you have to make power moves Power moves is about tapping into your core of who you are, unleashing your potential and fulfilling your purpose. That's what power moves are, right? And so the book really gives you, uh, and, and I said at the back of the book, it's a battle plan, right? In yeah. terms of how you can propel yourself into achieving a, a, a purpose and, 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 and pursuing your destiny. And so that the book is available. I do have, uh, as I said before, the books are available, 2005 Jamaican. And if you're purchasing it on Amazon, it's $12.99 on Amazon. Uh, that's a physical book. If it's the Kindle version, it's $4.99. Um, I do have book markers. I do have branded uh, memorabilia, right? And yeah, so... Yeah. If you and you want the book those, signing and all of them things, and I will be doing book signing so signed by the author. Want, yeah. So if you want the book signed, naturally that's gonna come at an additional cost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, yeah. you mean to get that customized? It does come with um, some amount of personalization, and so if that's the case, now we can work out a special price for you. And if you're purchasing more than ten for maybe like your youth group or so. I can also provide you with a discount. Um, so, you know, persons can enjoy the book. And, and, and so the, review, the, the reviews have been phenomenal. And these are varied ages in terms of people uh, from the old, the young to the, you know, the not yeah. so young, you know, so um, who have said, listen, this book has really, as a matter of fact, one of the readers uh, wrote to me and she said, listen, I'm all the way in Canada. She said, right now, this book has caused me to have a greater relationship with God. This has caused me not to seek to expand my business, you know? And those are things that, that made me feel really proud because when I was writing it, that's what I wanted. I wanted testimonies of people who no longer wanted to settle for the mediocre no longer wanted to be average but persons who wanted to be excellent you know who wanted mm -hmm. to change the game right who wanted to be the best at everything that it is that they are doing and so that's the reason why the book was written peace and peace miss lawrence peace and peace guys miss lawrence this has truly been an honor this is not going to be the first well, it is the first, but it is it not is going first. to be the last. <laughs> it is the first, but it is it is not going to be the last time that we'll mm -hmm. be talking. You know, Definitely. I 
really enjoyed this conversation and I know that the viewers will as well. I know that the young women, you know, inner city, uptown, downtown, you know, all around the place will as well. I just know, you know, and I'm truly grateful for this opportunity and, you know, I forgive thanks to the most I and I am truly grateful that I have the opportunity to, you know, go back in your past and yeah. see the metamorphosis of a Miss Lawrence, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I, 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 mm. I, I, am, I am truly grateful for this opportunity, Miss Lawrence, and we are truly grateful to, you know, be able to tap into your mind, understand, you know, where you're coming from, get mm -hmm. some knowledge juice from you, you know, get the book from you as well, because we're going sure. to support empower her moves or power her power her moves we're going to support and you know Miss Lawrence yeah. that's truly been an honor you know for me and for the viewers so yeah right now we can just talk for myself like really and truly I really enjoyed this conversation and we're and, and, and I must pick you up to Joshua before you go I must really congratulate you on this mega game-changing move because at the end of the day when young persons see the need to do things to inspire other young persons or even to just inspire people in general it's a commendable move right and i pray that the holy spirit will continue to guide you and to lead you into truth and to lead you to the right people who are able to impact and inspire people that's what we want. We need more of you in the world. We need more game changers, right? Because you, I'm sure, would have had many options in terms of where your life should be at this point in time, but you chose to do this. And that, for me, as a young man, a Jamaican young man, this is absolutely, absolutely commendable. And you are what is right with Jamaica. And I, I do hope that many young men can 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 seek to emulate you know uh the work that you're doing you know and so i i have to applaud you and say congratulations i'm proud of you absolutely proud of you lines you just you just thank you very much miss lines you're gonna make me cry miss lines like honestly you're gonna make me cry you're gonna make me cry you're gonna make me cry <laughs> <laughs> Truly appreciate those words, Miss Lawrence. Truly appreciate them. Truly appreciate them. The next time we speak, we're going to be talking about something even greater than this. We're going to be tackling a topic. And I look forward to it. All right, no problem. Thank you very much, Miss Lawrence. And it has truly been a blessing having you here. Thank you so much. It was indeed as well. All right, so hi guys, hello Sheiks. I am the Sheik. You get what I'm say, and we're truly grateful for your support throughout the series. It's going to be a little break, you know. We spoke to Ruth Lawrence. We got some of their experiences, we learned, and honestly, we know a sound to learn. So you get what I'm say, and I would love it if you guys can share it with your friends, subscribe, click the bell. I'm tired of sending it. WhatsApp broadcast. People are supposed to die of it. Right? No, no. This has been a journey. I, I never I never see this happening no. I started off in skin here, ended up in youth development. We never see this. You get what I'm saying? But I enjoyed every part of this. I enjoyed learning. I enjoyed every single thing. We have a book agreement with this Ruth Lawrence. And we're truly grateful. I can't Express that thank you. Truly grateful. For it. We love you. Like, subscribe, share, click the bell, comment. We read your comments and we respond to them. And love it when you guys comment. Love it when you guys comment. And we'll probably do a little giveaway. You know, you guys will see. You guys will see. want to thank my team. You know, stress the team. The team is profound. The team. A team who oh, no, no no more KG visuals and desert assassin. You know this sounds desert assassin name sound away, you know. But that means that if you don't know about them, 
check them out, check their pages out, you know. Follow them, like their content and team because these young men are the men behind the camera. But only I see my face, the sheep face, the sheep underscore them. These young men are the battery. The mother, the gasoline, you know, the tank. Follow them. Look them up, one team. Thank you very much, guys. We really and truly appreciate you. And we look forward to producing more life breathing content on this platform. Jesus' precious name, we ask that you will stay safe, stay hopeful, and stay subscribed. All right, big up.